morning, everyone. Welcome to Silver Creek Elementary School on September the 17th. 18th. <laughs> Yesterday was the 17th. Today's the 18th. It's a Wednesday, hump day, as they say, halfway through the work week as today. So I have some announcements this morning. Let's get to those. And then we have two birthdays with us today. So let's start first with cross country and some acknowledgement and some congratulations to some of the students we had in cross country last night at the cross country invitational at Christian Academy of Indiana. So running at Christian Academy last night, we had three of our Silver Creek girls here running on the Silver Creek Middle School team. I'd like to give them congratulations. Sierra Kent, Isabella Hinton, and Elizabeth Williams. So <clears throat> congratulations to those three girls. We'll have the entire cross country team down on announcements as they end their season. They've got a little bit left to go, but congratulations to Sierra, Isabella, Elizabeth. Also, we had two girls run in the open race at Christian Academy. That was Shelby Joyner and Rachel Buchanan. So also congratulations to Shelby and Rachel. And now for the boys. We had four boys running in the um, race last night. Congratulations to Ashton Still, Isaac Hinton, Gavin Clark, and Michael Crabtree. So congratulations to those four boys, Ashton, Isaac, Gavin, and Michael at the Christian Academy invitation. We had one more birthday young lady come with us. Let me turn the camera a little bit, try to get everybody on there for when they come. All right, announcement number two. This paper is available for you today if you're in the fifth grade. And this paper is about, let me get it over there where you can see it, cheerleading. Cheerleading, there's gonna be cheerleading practice first and then some cheerleading tryouts that are coming up. So on Monday, that's the Monday coming up, this next Monday, September 23rd, and Tuesday, September 24th, from right after school till 4.30, will be a clinic for any student who's planning on trying out for, for cheerleading this year. And then uh, we will have closed tryouts for the cheerleading team and coach um, we'll pick the team, let's see here, that's on Wednesday, September 25th from 2.50 to 4.30. Coach Chandler will be picking the team. So if you're going to do that, you need to ask your parents and your parents need to sign the permission slip at the bottom and you need to bring that back. And you also need to sign up on the list outside Miss Chandler's door. That's 506. So we have two uh, fifth grade rooms downstairs. They'll need to go up and sign that list if they plan on doing that. And then uh, everyone who's planning to come into the clinic and the tryouts need to take this permission slip home and get it signed by their parents. Cheerleading clinic, Monday, Tuesday. Cheerleading tryouts, Wednesday. Well, Mary, uh, Emily, Dragon's home with the fiery sore throat. So I have to do this myself. But I want to talk about an idiom today. And this idiom is, put on your thinking cap. Put on your thinking cap. People say that. It's an American idiom. And does it mean, well, I'm supposed to put my hat on? No. Put on your thinking cap. Right now, put it on. Doesn't mean put on your hat. Or doesn't mean put on your cap. It's an idiom that means put on your thinking cap means come up with an idea. Okay, come up with a good idea or an answer to this question. I need you to use your brain to think really hard to come up with an idea or an answer or uh, something creative. Put on your thinking cap. That means concentrate. Think. Think. Don't put on your hat. Put on your thinking cap. That's an American idiom. Okay. Well, I hope Mary Emily gets better. All right. Let's uh, look at our three birthday people who are here today. I'll back this camera up a little bit farther. There they are. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one now. If you come up and stand on the purple mat and they'll be able to see you, I'll turn it right up here. There you are, as you can see. So be loud and tell everybody your first name. Okay, Ollie. <coughs> what is it? Ollie. Ollie? Yeah. Okay, Ollie, good to see you today. And as your birthday today, the 18th, yeah. happy birthday today. Who's your teacher? Miss Etheridge. Miss Etheridge, a fourth grader. How old are you? I'm 10. 10, that decade old. Ten, year, 10 makes a decade. 10 years makes a decade. You want to say hi to anyone? Yeah. <coughs> Why don't you just wave to everybody? 
I'm glad you came down for Mrs. Ethridge's room. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Go ahead and have a seat. We'll bring up number two. Here she comes. All right, so they can see you right there. Be nice and nice. You got your birthday girl shirt on. Looks very nice. What's your first name? Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Good to see you. Uh, your birthday today on the 18th? Yeah. Who's your teacher? Miss Daniel. <clears throat> Daniel. So you're in the second grade. I bet you're not 10, are you? How old are you now? Eight. Eighth birthday today. Well, congratulations. Happy birthday to you. Uh, you want to say hi to any of your friends? Why don't you wave to everybody in Miss Daniel's room? Good to see you today. Have a seat. You'll help with our Pledge of Allegiance in just a minute. Come up, number three. Wearing your violet today or your purple colors. Look very nice. Tell everybody your first name. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Who's your teacher? Miss Bile. Miss Bile. So you're in the fourth grade, too. Is your birthday the 18th September? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Would you like to say hi to anyone? <coughs> Gary, Serena, and Gary, Gary, Serena, and Jocelyn. Is that right? Did I get it right? Terry. Terry. Terry's the first one. Okay. All right, why don't you wave to everybody in your room? Okay. <clears throat> all right, if all three of you would come back and stand up, let's do that. I think we and get the sign, hold it between the two of you. Everybody get a hand on it. Get a little close. Don't cover her face. There we go. Okay. All right, squishing together. Got to get closer. There we go. All right, so we're ready for our Pledge of Allegiance moment of silence and our We Care Promise. Out there, if you would get ready in the classrooms, too. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence. And our We Care promise, I promise to hurt no one in word or action today. I use my hands for helping. I use my words for kindness. I include everyone. Nice job, birthday people. Wave bye. Okay, good. I have birthday pencils for you, so just hang on here a minute. I'll slide back over. All right, one more reminder. Book fair is coming up. I think it's preview day on Friday where you get to come down and see what we have. I don't think we buy anything on Friday. It's just preview day, but it's, hey, it's getting a start. They're putting the books out soon. That's exciting. Everybody loves the PTO book fair. So that's coming up, preview day on Friday, book fair all next week. And reminder, if you have teachers, if you have stuff in that storage room at the steps coming up from the uh, primer or the second grade hallway to the cafeteria, we're going to be cleaning that out soon. You need to get your things out of there if you want them. Everything else, go into the dumpster. See ya. Have a great day. Bye-bye.